The Geothermal Prospector is a web-based GIS application focused on data related to geothermal energy. The Geothermal Prospector was built using the OpenCardo web-based GIS framework developed by the National Renewable Energy Lab. This framework is designed to provide exploration, visualization, querying, and analysis capabilities with geospatial data. The application has been around for several years, but has recently undergone a redesign and is being released as a beta stage in October of 2014. I'll be demonstrating several capabilities of the beta release of OpenCardo in this video. The first area of functionality that we'll be demonstrating is related to the exploration of spatial data sets. On the left side of the screen is a tree that represents the data layers that are available in the application. There are two types of entries in the layer tree, the first being a geospatial data layer represented here by the AASG geothermal boreholes, and the second being a directory structure, represented here by wells. Layers exist in directories. Each layer in the layer tree has several functionalities. First, you can turn on or off the layer by checking the box to the left. Turning the layer off removes it from the map, and turning the layer on adds it to the map. There are also two icons to the right of the layer. The first is the download icon. Clicking this icon brings up a window that allows you to download GeoJSON, KML, Shapefile, or CSV versions of the dataset. The information icon brings up the metadata for that particular layer. Many of the metadata layers also have links to the source of the dataset. Directories are an organizational structure in the tree designed to make it easier to find datasets. They can be opened and closed by clicking anywhere in the header section of the directory. We can close the wells directory, which hides the layers, and then click it again to open it, which exposes them. As this application is intended to mimic functionality of a desktop GIS in some ways, it is possible to turn on multiple layers at the same time. The classification categories for layers that are turned on can be seen by looking at the legend tab, in which all of the available layers that are displayed on the map have their legends displayed in this column. There are several ways for a user to explore the map, including zooming in with buttons to zoom in and zoom out, using a zoom tool where you can draw an area to zoom into by clicking this icon here and drawing a box over the map also by doing a geocoded search which zooms to the location specified in the form field Additionally, the user can change the base map from OpenStreetMap to several options provided by Google. There are also several querying capabilities in OpenCardo, which we'll demonstrate by looking at operational and developing geothermal projects. So we'll turn these layers on using the map, and then zoom into the area where we have data. Querying is accessed using this table of contents menu in the top right corner of the left panel. Point query is selected by default. If you click in an area on the map, it will bring up information about both data sets that are currently activated. Clicking the arrows on the left brings up the attributes for each of these data sets. These data can also be queried by drawing a rectangular region which brings up the results from each data set in a tab at the bottom of the page where you can scroll through the result set for all selected points within the boundary.
The OpenCardo framework also offers a custom shape specification where the user can draw a polygon to indicate the area of interest. Double clicking the last point completes the polygon and automatically runs the query against the database. And again, you can see we've got data from both of the active layers. Additionally, data can be queried by attribute. You can choose, you can choose visible layers, select one of the active layers, choose one of their attributes, plant capacity for example. You can say that we're looking for plants that are larger than a certain value. And we can put in 8 megawatts and then execute the query. And these would be all of the plants in the layer that have a capacity greater than 8 megawatts. The attribute query can be utilized to further subset the data sets. We'll run the same query we did before, where we're looking for plant capacity greater than 8 megawatts. And we can also add a constraint to say we don't want any plants that are greater than 9. So this is the only plant that actually has a capacity between 8 and 9 megawatts. The Geothermal Prospector implementation also offers two analysis capabilities which can be accessed through this tab which says Run Analysis. These are the Geothermal Analysis capability which I'll demonstrate in this video and the Wells Visualization tool which is available in another video in this series. The Geothermal Analysis allows the user to specify an area of interest and then run several canned analysis procedures to provide data for that area. So we click the tool, draw a box in the western United States, and then once we release the mouse we're presented with four options for visualizing analysis results. The first is the wells visualization which provides a summary of all of the wells in the area of interest. We get the total number of wells and the range of their depth and their temperature at the bottom. These are also binned and provided in a chart. This chart's interactive and hovering over it provides values for depth, average bottom hole temperature, and maximum bottom hole temperature. By clicking on these items, you can remove them or add them back to the chart. We also provide surface ownership, and that's broken up by landowner and the percent of area. So it's provided in a table as well as an interactive chart. Restrictions on land use, which are also provided in a table, as well as a chart. And then leases, or geothermal case types, which again are separated out into a table and a chart in which you can see the type and then the percent of area represented by that type. In addition to the geothermal analysis, we have the Wells Visualization Tool, which provides access to filter and visualize wells aggregated at the state level, the county level, and then the individual wells themselves for over 500,000 wells in the United States. A thorough demonstration of this capability is available in the next video in this series. Two additional very important capabilities of the Geothermal Prospector are the print and feedback mechanisms, which are available on the upper right-hand side of the application. So we'll turn off the analysis and click print, which provides a small copy of the map with the layers turned on that we were currently visualizing. This map is fully interactive, so you can pan and zoom to make sure that what you want to display is centered in the map. Also provided are the legends for the displayed layers. 
This makes it very easy to clip these sections of the interface and paste them into things like PowerPoint or reports. Clicking the close button brings you back to the OpenCardo application. One of the most important features considering this is a beta release is our feedback mechanism. By clicking the feedback mechanism you can type a message and also include a screen capture of what you're looking at at the time the message is sent. This will let us know if something's not working and also provide us with all of the information we need to diagnose the problem. Feedback from users like you is very useful in the development process and we strongly encourage any comments that you have. This concludes the video demonstration of the Geothermal Prospector.